My name is Jason. I'm a photographer here in Toronto, and I live in this apartment with my partner, Jeff, and this is the living area of our very small condo. When we moved into the apartment, it was really white and really square and really boxy. So I really tried to inject some personality and color and warmth into the space. I spent a lot of time sketching when I first bought the place and deciding what was going to work and how to best lay it out to maximize the space. And I think I started with the drapes, to be honest. I thought I wanted to cover up some of that glass and brightness at the end of the room. And then we started sort of imagining where our pieces would go. We didn't really buy anything except the couch before purchasing the place. So I just sort of plotted out where things would fit. The couch was a really great deal. We found it on Craigslist. It's a Gus couch, which is a nice Toronto local company. And it was like 900 bucks. We bought cushions and tried to balance sort of masculine and feminine. So the floral pillows really sort of softened that. The green chair behind me we found at St. Lawrence Market it was $35. So that was a really great deal at the Sunday Antique Fair. Uh, I loved that it sort of felt like a military blanket on a chair and the scale worked really well with the pieces we already had. We chose to go with floor carpet tiles because they are super resilient and pretty neutral. The one we chose is the house pet line and they're, it's nylon. So if you spill anything, which we plan on having lots of cocktail parties when we moved in, you can pull it up and literally throw it in the bathtub and hose it down. In every house I've ever lived in, I've painted it some variation of this color. It's a very neutral beige. And we went with the horizontal stripe to sort of elongate the room and give it some interest. And it's a one coat of paint over the whole wall, taped off, and then a coat of glossy urethane over the top. One of the few pieces we bought when we moved in was the upholstered ottoman in the living room. It's become really handy for parties and sometimes we eat dinner in front of the TV and I work on my computer at the ottoman and it's full of storage as well, which is very handy. My partner Jeff bought this birdcage when he was 12 years old and it was really ugly yellow honey colored wood. So we painted it in this high gloss lacquer spray paint and outfitted it with an Edison bulb and it made it work for our space. I am not a big fan of condo sized furniture. I just don't like it. It looks rinky dink and hokey often to me. So we went with really big pieces throughout the space. We found this shelving unit on Craigslist as well and it was $100 and it is elementary school library shelving which reminded me of being a kid. It's a great place to house all of our stuff and the color of it really worked with this scheme in the room. It was sort of a perfect find. So we found this dining table uh, through Craigslist as well, and it's marble and kind of beat up, which I liked. It was $25, which I couldn't argue with, and it weighs about a thousand pounds. So it feels really substantial, uh, and it fits the scale of the room. So we have room for four people in a really sort of easy, casual dining atmosphere. The kitchen is by no means a custom kitchen. It was exactly like this when we moved in and we weren't really interested in investing too much money in it, so we've made it work for us. I spend a lot of time standing at that kitchen counter, so I like to have pictures of my loved ones there as well. Before we moved into this apartment, I like to have everything behind closed doors. I was very much a minimalist person, and this apartment didn't allow for it necessarily because it's just not big enough. So I embraced showing off some of our stuff in the open shelving that existed, and also with piles of plates on the counter and different things that just make it seem a little easier and less fussy. Using resources like Craigslist and antique markets all over the province, we were able to really personalize our space without spending a lot of money and make it feel like home. <laughs>